Hi everyone, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track Tekina by Halogenics. So this is the original track. And this is the base we're going to be making. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so before we open Serum, these are the notes that we're going to be playing. You can copy them if you want to follow along with the video. So now let's get into Serum. Okay, so here in Serum, the first thing I'm going to do is to set up our oscillators. So the first thing that we need is a low saw wave with 7 of unison. And we're going to filter this using low pass filter. We're going to set it on 24 decibels per octave gain reduction. And then let's bring it down. And modulate this with an LFO. So I'm going to use this LFO, put it on the cutoff, and then change its amplitude. Then I'm going to turn this into more of a plug shape. I'm going to set it on envelope. And then fine tune it. I'm going to set this on one bar. And then one thing that's very important is to activate the pitch tracking or the key tracking function of the filter. With this on, what is, is going to move the cutoff of the filter based on the notes that we play. So higher notes reach a higher place in their cutoff. So let's bring this down. Cool. Now we get those little cool accents when there's a very high note playing because the cutoff goes up along with the notes. Cool, so that will be oscillator A. Now one thing, let's just modulate the level of it. Let's create a shape like this. Let's set this on trigger and let's set it on one bar. Just to really perfect the envelope of it. Let's turn on the sub. And then let's modulate this up again with this too. Then let's turn on oscillator B and let's load a sine wave on it. And same thing, let's modulate its level. We're just stacking different layers of cool sub in this. Cool, so once we have this, let's just boost the resonance a little bit. And what we can do is we can map macros to the curves or points of tension in the LFOs and things like the filter just to um, control the expression. For example, if we want this to be longer, we can increase the tension point or, or bring it up in the LFO that controls the cutoff of the filter and we can open the filter. really amazing way of adding so much expression into this space and this uh, happens on the next phrases of this drop so that's why I recommend you to map those macros just in case you need a movement like that but now I just want to take a little pause to remind you that these tutorials are not meant for you to copy the exact same sound but for you to learn all the techniques that go into generating sounds like these so then you can create your own versions of this and create better tracks cool so now let's move into the effects tab and let's turn on the distortion Let's boost the drive. And then let's add the chorus. Bring the mix down, maybe set this on high pass so it only affects the higher harmonics. Then let's turn on the compressor and just add gains. Cool enough. Then let's add, turn on the filter. And again, we're going to modulate this cutoff. Hold shift and all to make this modulation unipolar, meaning it's just one way. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's cool enough. Uh, and this is it inside of Serum. This is what generates the patch. You can uh, have these macros for the modulation or the expression of the bass. Which is very cool. And now for post-processing, we just have an EQ boosting this up and boosting this low mids frequencies. And then we have another EQ on mid side mode removing all of the sub on the stereo field so you don't have any problems in terms of mode compatibility of your sub. And this is how you make a bass in the style of Tekina by Halogenics. So that's going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.